Did you know that your phone comes with default settings that allow any app or website to access your phone number without you noticing? And this is obviously very dangerous because not all apps and websites are trustworthy. Your number could reach people who collect data to market products to you, or even people who carry out scams and send you strange messages or calls. In this video, I'll show you simple steps to protect your number and privacy from spying or intrusion. So focus well, because it's very important. Step one, turn off phone number. Sharing with apps. Open your phone's settings. Scroll down until you find Google and tap on it. Then select All Services. Look for the option called Phone Number Sharing. If this option is enabled, turn it off immediately. This prevents apps using Google services from accessing your number automatically. Step 2. Disable saving your number in the browser. Google Chrome. Open the Google Chrome app. Tap the three dots at the top, right or left, depending on your language. Choose Settings. Scroll down until you find something called Addresses and More. You'll find a feature called Save and Fill Addresses. Turn it off, because this feature may save your number and make it accessible to any site you visit without realizing it. Step 3. Review app permissions. Some apps request access to your contacts, which means they can see your number and your friend's numbers too. Open Settings. Go to Privacy and Security. Permissions. Select Contacts. Review the apps that have this permission and ask yourself, does this app really need to access my contacts? For example, the Gallery app. Photos. What does it have to do with contacts? Nothing. If you think it doesn't need it, tap on it and select Don't Allow. Step 4. Turn off Call Log Permission. Go back to the Permission Manager. Select Call Logs. Check which apps have this permission. If the app has nothing to do with calls, block it immediately. Why are these steps important? They protect you from annoying advertising calls. They reduce the chances that your data gets sold to shady companies. They help maintain your privacy. And they lower the risk of someone using your number for bad purposes. If you remove permission from an app that actually needs it, don't worry, the phone will ask you for it again when needed, and then you can allow it if you think it's necessary. Your number and personal information belong to you, and no one should access them without your permission. Always stay cautious and review these settings from time to time. If you found this video helpful, share it with someone you care about, and leave me a comment if you have any questions. See you next video.